Alright, hey, welcome back into today's video. Keemstar is rapidly losing subscribers, but why? We're going to talk about that today in Exploring YouTubers. If you're unfamiliar with who Keemstar is, he's the host of popular YouTube channel Drama Alert with over 5 million subscribers. Drama Alert's Social Blade has Keemstar losing a lot of subscribers. As you can see, he's lost about one, two, three, four, nearly four, possibly 5,000 subscribers since Friday. Also, it does look like a video has been deleted. A video that achieved almost 2 million views. I wonder what that was. If you search Drama Alert, you're going to get a lot of videos that have come out recently saying it's time to stop Keemstar. And we've seen this before in the past. I don't know if you've ever watched the iDubs video, but it puts out everything wrong that anyone could have with Keemstar. Simply. iDubbbz Content Caught came out about 2016, that's three years ago, and accumulated 27 million views. That's a lot of views. Now, if you want to watch that video, I'm going to put it in the description below. I do encourage you to watch it for full context of the current situation. In the wake of Etika's passing, there was a lot of YouTubers that were uh, blamed for his behavior blamed for his actions. One article saying Drama Alert host Daniel Keemstar is facing ample backlash in wake of the news, with critics accusing him of egging on Etika's mental breakdown. One user on Twitter posts a screen of Keemstar asking his audience if they want him to do an interview with Etika. Now, a lot of people asked Keemstar to leave it alone, that Etika needed a break, that he's been going under a lot of stress, and he replies with, leave him alone, give him time to rest. He says, sucka, I run a news channel, I'm going to get my viewers the news. I don't give a about your fake social justice warrior emotions on Twitter for attention. It goes on to say that Keemstar is denying the claims, claiming that he and Etika had become close friends and arguing that he had been genuinely concerned about Etika's mental health. Keemstar did go on to make that interview happen with Etika. Um, it was very, a very manic interview where you could tell that, that's right Greg, you could tell that Etika was not in a good state of place and then so he quit and then afterwards uh he blocked keemstar and then keemstar tweeted this recorded an interview with etika he started yelling and rage quit he's mad because i called him out for being weak and you can see that uh etika did block keemstar it does appear to me like there was a disagreement between keemstar and etika i don't know if him blocking keemstar was for show uh, I don't know what went on between them in private. Siding with Keemstar is Etika's ex-girlfriend, Alice Pika, saying, this is a real text from Etika's real mother. Please, I beg you all, as Etika's ex-girlfriend, please stop this hate towards Keem. Desmond loved Keemstar and supported him for years. He absolutely did not blame him for what he did to himself. Etika blames himself and only himself. So this is what Etika's mother has said. Hello, Keemstar. This is Etika's mother responding to you to address the recent tweets and accusations you've received in relation to his death. I wish to inform Etika's fans, friends, and viewers that Keemstar is not responsible for Etika's passing and should not be held accountable for my son's actions. Etika loved Keemstar's show and wanted to make his appearance on the program both memorable and exciting. My son's goal was to make the segment as dramatic and entertaining as possible, not to use it as a vehicle of hatred towards the show's host and creator. Spread love and goodwill instead of passing judgment. What's truly needed is a much better platform for supporting mental health awareness throughout the world. Please build up your online community with kindness instead of recklessly breaking each other down. In God we trust that you will take these blessings we send out to you. A lot of people, even after being aware of this, still feel that responsibility with platform matters and that having Keemstar had his platform should have known better than to have Etika on. When Etika was in the mental institution, the doctors did give him a full pass. They released him, said that he was okay to operate in society. I'll see if I can't find that tweet and post it.
Now, since Keemstar is rapidly losing subscribers, he has come out on Twitter trying his best to explain the situation. And I'm going to attempt to answer some questions because this thing's like snowballing out of control and I don't want to make this video and I don't want to be sitting here defending myself. Uh, but, but I have to because the internet's doing what the internet does. So, you know, a lot of people are looking for someone to blame for the, the Attica thing and obviously I'm the target that they've picked and they're pulling up old tweets where, you know, I'm making some banter jokes. Um, about what was going on with Attica and these outbursts and stuff. And they're like, look, you're to blame, Keem, you're to blame. Um, but nobody goes and shows tweets where I'm generally concerned because that doesn't fit the narrative of, you know, you're the one to blame. I was generally concerned about what happened with Attica. And when I talked to Attica, he was fine. When I spoke to him privately, he was totally fine. And I guess people just don't understand that. And it wasn't just, I wasn't just taking his word for it. It was the doctors. Like if the doctors are talking to him and they're like, you're fine, let him go. Then what am I supposed to believe? If, if I'm talking to him and I'm getting the same impression that these are stunts and this is for publicity and he's telling me like, look, look at my Twitter, look at my analytics, you know, my YouTube's blown up. If he, if we're having conversations like that, that are completely normal, but then when camera's on, there's this outburst, um, you know, what am I to believe? I, I spoke to his ex-girlfriend and I asked them like, or I asked her like, why is he, why were they letting him out of the hospital? And he was convincing the doctors that he was fine. And that's why they kept letting him out. So it was a combination of that. No, the other thing, I was talking to many other people that talked to him in the last two weeks and he convinced them that he was fine. He literally made plans with people for this summer. Like he was making plans this summer to hang out with different friends. Like people don't understand and they don't ask me questions. They just point the finger and say, you're to blame. And there's so much more that happened privately that just you guys don't understand. And I just wanna mourn my friend so please stop. He came out with a series of three tweet videos that I'll put in the description below so you guys can come to your own conclusions on. It did no good as public outcry were blaming him, even saying that his emotions in these videos were fake. And I completely do understand based on his past actions and the things that he's done, what he's known for, he is an easy target. But it is the fact that he is an easy target that makes me wonder, is placing the blame on him is that is there grounds to do that or are we just trying to find someone to blame i want to know what you guys think about that in the comment section below on a june 25th tweet during friday fortnight this friday we will raise money for etica's family to help with funeral costs etc i'll have more details later i need to get a direct line to his mother first the article goes on to say that Keemstar's Friday Fortnite event on June 28th saw him giving away 30 Nintendo Switch consoles in honor of Etika, with Etika's ex-girlfriend and popular Twitch streamer Alice Pika holding a memorial for him at the Manhattan Bridge on June 27th. To Etika! To Etika! Joy con gods! Joy con gods! Joy con gods! The tweet goes on to say, I want to thank everyone that was here to not only mourn, but celebrate the legacy Etika left behind. Words cannot define how fantastic it was to be here. Love, happiness, and smiles was what Joey Con's boys was and still is. Some other stars did speak out to mourn Etika's passing, such as PewDiePie saying, hard to grasp that he's actually gone, left us way too soon. You will continue to live on in our hearts. Rest in peace, Etika. It does appear that Keemstar did delete the interview with him and Etika on the drama alert channel a lot of people are picking apart and re-uploading that video i'll put a re-upload in the description below uh one person posted a video I, I believe it's very out of context but it's all predestined keemstar but the everything scariest, you've done up until this point but the scariest thing about thinking that the world is a simulation and it's predestined and all that is then there's no reason yeah. to live why not why do you fear death well that's what i'm saying that's that, it's 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 scary because if you really think about it then why live just yeah. jump off a cliff if, if it's just a simulation who cares i have to say that there's a possibility that he might have not known the seriousness of this he does say that he talked to etika um 
in private and Etika did seem like him and Keemstar had a very good relationship. He did seem like he was a fan of Keemstar on multiple occasions. I watched a couple of his last videos and he was watching Drama Alert in one uh, during the controversy when he was trending worldwide. And then again, even in his last video, I'm sorry, he spoke uh, to Keemstar. That being said, I don't know what the relationship between them was, but it does appear like it was friendly. Now, let's put that aside for a second. We have to remember that we're watching the interview in hindsight. At the time, Etika was still alive and well. Now, for context purposes, it does seem cold and callous towards his mental health. And yeah, it was not a secret that Etika was having a really difficult time. It was there for the public. Like I said, it was trending US and then worldwide, everybody knew. I personally don't believe that the Etika interview should have ever happened. And obviously he feels the same way as it's been deleted. My own personal opinions about Keemstar is he's not my type of person that I would hang out with. I have seen and witnessed things uh, just of him talking and things in the past where he was overly rude and I know the context of his past and he's done some things that are not good. I want to know, are people blaming him, specifically him, because he's such an easy target and he has done so much wrong in the past? Or do you think that there's legitimate reason behind it? Let me know, because I feel like it's very important. And if you guys are feeling like uh, things aren't going right, I am going to put some things in the description below, and you guys can always reach out to me on my Discord. I'll put the Discord link below so you guys can join it. You can talk to me there, and uh, we even have a venting section that you can just vent, and uh, we have a good group of moderators that are there to talk as well. As interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and your interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. <sighs> Mental health is, uh, it's a hard thing to, to deal with. It's something that I've struggled with since way back. Uh, YouTube is extremely difficult. Being a content creator is extremely difficult. Having a following behind you, knowing that your representation to that community can add a lot of pressure. But uh, I do appreciate everyone. And like I said, we're here for each other. As long as we have each other, we can get through anything. I love you, Rep Squad. Uh, Oh, don't forget to get your official Rep Squad membership shirts. Memberships? Did I say memberships? <laughs> your official Rep Squad membership t-shirts. Uh, you need to get them because they're, uh, they will protect you from the Illuminati while we're traveling through the internet. Uh, it's another way to show that you're repping if you're not repping your gagging. And how do you do that? I gotta subscribe with notifications turned on. Be in the comment section to every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat is going to be there. And the rest of the Red Squad as well. I expect to see you there too, because this channel loves you. I got a text message. One more thing I wanted to point out here in the comments section on this uh, Twitter thread, man. Uh, you guys are making fun of somebody calling them roaches and stuff like that this even this one he's a clown now this is the same kind of stuff that I saw that was going on with Etika you can't do that you can't just uh, two wrongs don't make a right so even if you do feel strongly against this person uh, this was the same type of stuff that people were spamming Etika specifically the clown thing what are you doing that's not how to fix it